Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a highly requested one, um, and it is, oh, what is in our kids' hand luggage? For flying long haul so I have packed their bags ready now these are their school bags um, they haven't decided what bags they're gonna take as um, hand luggage sometimes we have kind of like little pull along suitcases for them but we're kind of at the stage now where we could do with backpacks so that if they don't want to wear them then at least we can wear them um, and their school bags are actually like a really good size for this so I'm hoping that they just go with my plan um, and take these bags when we go um, to Florida in a couple of weeks time but this is what we always pack in their bags basically so this doesn't change um, it only really changes with age as um, different like more age appropriate things get added in and taken out and things like that so I'm going to very quickly fly through what is in their bags first up in the side will always be their drinks bottle we use these um, we use these like everyday life these show um, bottles um, this is Lila's um, this is actually Daisy's lid Daisy has the straw lid but because of Lila's hand at the minute she's using that one but they will have those in the side and then we don't tend to take ours with us instead of carrying four bottles around with us we will then share the girls and just keep those ones topped up this is just to give you like some ideas of the things that we found work um, when we travel this time Daisy is asked to take all of the new emos so that she can show the characters um, and I've just kind of put all their little outfits in a little food bag I'm, I'm guessing we'll end up bringing more home clothes um, but we say any toys and stuff that they want to take have to fit in their hand luggage otherwise we'll end up with stuff everywhere if it's all in the cases and stuff as well so we've definitely narrowed it down over the years this is more excessive than than we would normally be um, but Daisy has asked for it so that's absolutely fine and they love them and it keeps them entertained so that's that so just to kind of put things into context as I go through Daisy's bag Daisy is five she will be six in February so she's kind of still um, quite young but also likes to be grown up like her sister so the things that we have got in her bag is she's got one of these search and find pirates books basically just on each page there's like lists on the side of things that you need to find great for the plane you don't need pens and pencils you can literally just look through it and do it over and over again she also has one of these step-by-step -step drawing animals we love anything Osborne like their books and travel things are amazing basically it just talks you through how to draw all different animals um, and she loves it look there's, there's one where she's done a turtle so yep yeah, she has always has some sort of Osborne activity book in her bag next up she has a joke book or some jokes that every five-year-old should know um, we love just sitting doing these it's a great thing while you're just kind of waiting and you don't want to get something set up for like the departure lounge or just in the car or anything like that we love these joke books anything I talk about I will link in the box below um, I presume most of it will be from Amazon but yeah I will link everything that we take then they each have one of these now i literally i love these so it is an led drawing pad so basically rather than taking books and pencils and losing them on the plane floor you can just oh, i don't know if you're able to see you can just draw and write and doodle and do anything you want on this pad and then when you're done it just clears away um, so we do like her spelling practices we do their writing practices they do some like drawing and then the pen just clips in this bottom bit and you can just erase it whenever you're ready to go on to the next thing these are amazing for travel I've, I need to kind of get a case for them really but I've just popped them in like the little thing that they came in um, from Amazon but they are literally a godsend when traveling with kids I told you we love us born. She has also got these never get bored travel puzzles. See, these are like white clean um, cards. So there's like, a, I've put a couple of like um, black pens in there. And they're just cards basically with all different um, activities on. I, I would pull out the one with the answers on, wouldn't I? 
So it's got all different things to do, um, and then like questions, like different games, and they're just wiped clean, um, and both the girls love them. Some of these things, both the girls will play with, but I've just kind of split them evenly between the bags. Um, so that's definitely one that they will both get involved with. They each have a packet of top trumps. Again, it's something that's not too messy, um, doesn't get everywhere, doesn't involve too much. If we travel short haul and it's a bit more like a relaxing trip and we're going to be sitting out on a balcony playing games, then they would have like Dobble and Uno and things like that in there. But for this one where there isn't as much downtime, um, then we try to keep it to like simple games that are quite compact. So yeah, they each have top trumps. Both of them have got their autograph book. This is obviously very particular to if you're going to Florida, but they've got their autograph book books in there ready, just because sometimes they like to have a bit of a doodle and stuff in there. So I keep them in their hand luggage. Daisy has got the toy um, VTech camera. Again, this is something that they will both play with. This was originally Lila's. I've just popped it in Daisy's bag because she tends to be drawn to it more. Um, this is great. It's got like games and stuff on there. They can like, I only found out the other day, they can vlog on there. So they've been doing some like little vlogs and stuff. It's so cute. Um, but I've just put that in the bag because again, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just like a really, it's like a toy, but it just keeps them occupied for a little bit longer. These games are amazing as well. They're like, uh, this one's word puzzles. I think Lila has got a, um, like riddles in her. So there's like the, the games are on the main card and then it's got, um, the answer you slide this bit open and it gives you the answer so that is obviously like a riddle isn't it like checkmate and then it slides to give the answer but then it gives you the letters to help guess the answer too so again just really good things to have in the bag if you just need something to, for five ten minutes to keep them going they have an eye mask in there for when they need to have a snooze this is um, like the little backpack they bought last time, but this has got all of um, their pins in. So this is all of Daisy's pins. They regularly like to just get them out, to have a look at them. I've just kind of like hooked her lanyard on there. Um, but yeah, that's just their Disney pins. Again, very specific to if you're going to Florida, if obviously if you're going somewhere elsewhere, you probably don't need that. Then they have a shed load of snacks. So I've just put, popped in like a big packet of rice cakes each. And then the front pocket, they've just got some like little, some more snacks. So like ice rings, some little Haribos. What else have we got in here? A packet of fruit pastels. Their little Pez characters and a few packets of Pez. And they're just kind of like popped in the front pocket for easy access. They each obviously in their bags as well will have their like snuggly. This is Daisy. Daisy carries three bunnies around with her. If you've watched the vlogs for a while, you'll probably know that. So Daisy has her three bunnies and Lila will have her like snuggly dog with her. Um, and then they have their um, travel pillows. We got these in the airport. I think it was maybe January or February. I think it was January. I think they were just from Boots, but they're really good because they change over, she says, into a normal shaped pillow so if they want just an actual pillow rather than the neck pillow it's perfect and that's sometimes as well a little bit easy to get in the bag when it's shaped like this too so they each have one of those Lila's is just here Lila's got a teal one and Daisy's got a coral one and then of course I can't show you at the minute because they're actually on them at the minute keeping themselves occupied but they all have their iPad and some headphones these are the headphones that we use for them um, these are like really old and battered now um but they're these kids snug headphones which are really good one of the things i love about them is they have a aux connector in each ear so if they want to watch the same thing together they can plug their headphones into each other so one can be plugged into the ipad and one can be plugged into the other sister's headphones um, and they can watch the same thing together which i really love about that at home they have been using wireless headphones but I don't know what we're going to take because obviously these plug into the plane sockets where the wireless ones um, I don't think we're at the technology yet where you can connect your own headphones so I'll see but I will link these they're great for small kids especially kind of like two three four year olds um, they're amazing yeah they have iPads but it's only because they were handed down to them from family like we um, any kind of like Kindle anything that will kind of just they can watch stuff and play stuff on um, 
in this day and age, I just don't think it's possible to travel without something like that. Because Daisy's got the Nuimos in hers, I have popped their caps and sunglasses into Lila's because obviously when you get to the other end, hopefully you're going somewhere sunny. So um, I've popped their hats and glasses in there so that when we get kind of like on the bus or whatever at the other end um, or we're out and about in the resort and we've not got our cases yet then at least they've got their hats and glasses to wear. So Lila's bag is very much the same, she is seven, she's also got one of these card games of riddles, she's got her um, Captain America top trumps, she's got this Disney Brain Games book. Now when she hurt her hand um, one of our friends Jenna sent this to us and it's amazing honestly it's such a good book and it's going to be perfect for travelling as well. She's got the equivalent joke book but for seven year olds. She's also got a step-by-step -step drawing book, which is slightly different. This is just kind of like an, a bit of everything. So if they want to swap, then they can do. And also one of the Search and Find books and one of her own like LCD drawing tablet things. So yeah, there you go. Obviously they're very much of a muchness. They're very much the same. I do just need to pop in like a couple of pens each for them. There is a pen on their autograph book, but I'll just pop in a couple of pens for them. Sometimes we take colouring, but as I said, it kind of can it's a lot of pieces to get everywhere um, and we're only get this any like week long trip um, they are great at just drawing and playing puzzles and things together so this time round I'm not taking colouring pencils but that's obviously always an option I am definitely bound to have forgotten something but just to give you some ideas of things that I pack in the kids hand luggage I really hope it's been helpful anything will be linked below that you might want to get for your kiddies if you're going on a plane very soon um, and I think the main thing is comfort um, snacks on the way home as well if it's a night flight I will pop a pair of their pajamas in so that you can get changed on the plane and have some nice pajamas and fluffy socks um, and also in our hand luggage will be a spare pair of underwear for everybody because you never know you never know <laughs> so we are now past the stage where we need a spare change of clothes but obviously if you're taking younger younger kids um, then just like a spare leggings and t-shirt is always helpful too because things get spilt whereas luckily touch wood I think we're past that now with these two but um I'm definitely gonna have jinxed that now. <laughs> I have actually packed our bag ready for hand luggage, um, which I will get round to filming, but I thought I'll do that in a separate vlog, just to keep them nicely short and sweet. That one has got so much stuff <laughs> jam-packed into it, so it would take a little bit long to go through. So I'm gonna film that tomorrow, and it will be up later in the week for you. But um, that one is coming too. I'm gonna film it as a hand luggage bag, but if you are interested in Disney Parks bags, um, then what is in it is very similar to what we travel with um, plus or minus a couple of additions so um, that will be coming later in the week so if you're interested in what is in the mums and dads hand luggage we just take one backpack um, between the two of us um, then make sure you watch out for that coming later this week but yeah that's everything i pack in kids hand luggage please let me know if it's helpful please let me know if you have any other ideas um comment below uh, make sure you like subscribe for lots more travel and disney related content and we'll see you next time bye